as your pregnancy advances fears and apprehensions around the labor increase you must be wondering how will labor actually feel like I will list few signs and symptoms that will give you an idea that your labor is near or has started. Your labor will start gradually. There are few pre-labor signs which you may or may not notice. These signs will appear few weeks before labor actually starts. These signs are experienced more by first-time mums as compared to the mums who have given birth before. All these signs are subtle and in case of premature labor that is labor before 37 weeks these signs are not usually experienced First is your baby drops down Baby drops doesn't mean the baby comes out it means it has descended into the pelvis which is a good sign that your baby is getting engaged as is ready for the labor now This usually happens few weeks before labor starts. This drop is more noticed by the first time mums while in mums who have given birth before baby descends in the pelvis few days before true labor or when true labor actually starts. You may feel painful to get up from the bed and you might use toilet frequently because the head is pushing down on the bladder at this time. You might feel your back pain is getting worse and you are now getting more abdominal cramps than before. Your joints may feel more relaxed and loose. You may notice that your weight is not increasing as it used to be. All these are very subtle signs of labor. You may or may not experience them. But if you get them that means your labor is not far away from now. There are certain definite signs that will indicate your labor is approaching now. You need to be careful of these signs and act on time. Few of those signs are mucus plug which acts like cork which seals the uterus from the outside world. If you notice that you start losing mucus filled blood stain discharge that means your labor is near as your body is getting ready to deliver the baby now this increased blood stain discharge is known as show and is a show sure shot sign that your body is ready now for labor you need to differentiate this blood stain discharge from fresh bleeding Fresh bleeding will be same as you get in your periods. If you experience fresh bleeding instead of mucus filled blood stain discharge, you need to contact your doctor immediately. Fresh bleeding in large amounts is not a healthy sign and you should not ignore it. Baby is surrounded by a cushion of fluid known as amniotic fluid. It protects your baby throughout the pregnancy and during labor. Your baby's head puts lot of pressure on this bag. As a result, this bag of water ruptures. You may notice sudden gush of fluid coming out or sometimes just tickling of water or wetting of your pants. If any of these is experienced by you, that means you will go in labor in next 24 hours. The most obvious sign of labor is you getting labor pains or you trying contractions. But the sometimes they could be just false labor pains. It becomes very important to distinguish whether you are getting actual labor pains or they are just false. As these contractions will determine that you need to go to hospital sooner rather than later. I will give you some cues which will help you judge yourself. that what type of pains are you getting every woman feels and perceives contractions in different ways but mostly these feelings are described as dull ache in lower stomach and going back to as well which worsens with time or a wave like pain from top of the stomach to the bottom or tightening of the tummy 
out of all the signs the most consistent sign of true labor is tightening of your tummy for few seconds and then again starts relaxing this cycle of tummy getting tight and then getting relaxed will become more frequent as time passes by this is how the uterine contractions will actually feel like you can yourself put your hand on your tummy and notice how it gets tight and then how it relaxes whereas in false labor pains there will be no pattern of tightening and relaxing of the tummy your back pain gets worse and worse with uterine contractions whereas in false labor pains it doesn't happen the uterine contractions will follow a regular pattern that is coming after every 8 or 10 minutes and as the time passes by these contractions get more stronger more frequent and will last for a longer duration say about 30 to 40 seconds whereas false labor pains may start settling with time true labor pains will not go no matter whatever activity you do whether you lie on the bed or you go for a walk these contractions will not disappear whereas false labor pains will go away if you do some activity or lie on the bed now you have figured out about your true labor pains the next step you need to do is tell your birth partner or whosoever is going to take you to the hospital try some breathing techniques or relaxation techniques that you had learned during your yoga sessions keep an eye on your contractions try to figure out how often and how much time is your tummy getting tight and then again relaxing strong contractions are considered if you are getting 3 to 4 contractions lasting for 45 to 60 seconds in 10 minutes time that means you are definitely in labor you must have discussed before with your doctor when to come to the hospital so act accordingly and inform as per what your doctor advised you you can take paracetamol till you reach the hospital all this means you are in first stage of labor where your body's main aim is to open up the cervix sufficient enough to the for the baby to come out cervix needs to be 10 cm dilated or opened up before the baby can come out and obviously from the closed cervix to getting 10 cm dilated it is going to take some time and this time duration is more in the first time mums as compared to the mums who have given birth before and especially early or the latent phase of first stage of labor is the longest one as compared to the active stage you should be in hospital during your active stage of labor or earlier if your doctor feels the need so